Okay, fifth and final match with Mono Red Devotion. Uh, we lost the die roll. No turn one play, but... I mean, decent other than that. I guess we'll keep this on the draw. Forest Mystic, okay. Hmm. Yeah. Didn't draw into a turn one creature. Oh, maybe I should, oh, I should wild slash that. I'm a dummy. Let's do it now. <laughs> I probably sh I should have just done that on my turn. They float the mana, yeah, stupid. Oh well. Wasn't thinking. Well, there's a nice punt number one right off the bat. Um, let's see here. I guess we don't have any value with Burning Tree yet, so we'll start with the Ash Zealot. All right, so it looks like mono green. Mono green, rampy goodness. Vivian. Um, the plus distributes counters. They gain trample until end of turn. Deals damage equal to its power. Fight stuff. You may choose a creature card and reveal it. Interesting. Okay. So like a mono green devotion ramp stompy something. That's a big elf now. Uh, huh. Yeah, let's attack into Vivian, I suppose. And then get a Reckoner out there. Pass the turn. What do they got? Access to five mana. Could start doing some silly things. Okay, walking ballista. Not so good against Reckoner, but. Ooh, that, there's some synergy. How about that? No attacks. Okay. Um, do I slam a Mogus here? Probably not. Let's get max value. Another Reckoner. Hmm. This walking ballista is annoying. Definitely annoying. I could give it first strike, kill off the elf. Huh. Do I attack the Reckoner into Vivian is the question. Ballista can just block it, but then I get to redirect four damage somewhere. Yeah, let's let's attack. See what they do here. Uh, 
Nothing. They they take it. Um, okay, pass the turn. Once upon a time. Finds Genesis Hydra. Okay, so plus one, plus one counter nonsense. I'm sure they have hardened scales in here. Maybe? Maybe not. Ugh. Okay. That's pretty good. This Fanatic Amogus next turn is going to be pretty good, though. Oh my god, another Reckoner. <laughs> That's insane. Um, so with the castle... We can activate the castle. Make them all 4-4. Four, four. Well, this would be a 3. Make these two 4-4s. Four, hmm. Four, I think at this point, we just attack our opponent. See what they do here. Because we can give them first strike. We can activate the castle. Okay. Um, Okay, so the ballista is pretty big now. What are they gonna? I mean, what are they gonna do with it though? Sure. Hit the opponent. Okay. Hit the opponent. Yep. Hit the opponent. Okay. Whew, all right. Well, that was a lot of a lot of pinging of various sorts. Oath of Nyssa. What do they find? Nykthos. Okay, they have a million mana. And they use that million mana to cast a giant ballista. Oh, the Genesis Hydra, that's right. 
Non-land permanent. Give every man has extra less. Then put it onto the battlefield. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> uh, Mystic, Oath, Nykthos, Nyssa, who shakes the world, and Vivian. Get a nice Nyssa. Oh, boy. This is getting silly. Put three plus one plus one counters. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, boy. Okay. Coming in for quite a lot. Yep, 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 yep. Down to 10. Okay. Uh, we have six mana available to us. Hmm. I think we... Burning tree. Do we Fanatic here or cast another Reckoner? So Reckoners are good blockers. Hmm. Another Reckoner. Uh, yeah, we'll leave it at that. Although this fanatic's not going to get much value because I'm going to have to chump block, which is unfortunate. All right, all kinds of shenanigans happening. What does she even do? I didn't even. On up to one target non creature land, you get an emblem with lands you control are indestructible, sure. God, so many silly things. Okay. <laughs> uh huh. Yep. Sure. Oh dear God. Okay. Do we just die here? I don't even know. Well, we'll block the five powers with these bad boys. And then, well, I guess we're not dead, but we're not looking good. Um, five damage. Where do we go with it? I don't know. So we'll go 10 damage to the face, but I... Th mm. I don't know that we're surviving this either way. I guess we'll go face in case we draw something. I don't know what we could draw. They're down to five. Fanatic Amogus hits them. Hmm. Lightning Strike. So Fanatic hits them for one down to four. Oh, we're so close. Oh, bummer. 
Uh, is there any way we get out of this? I don't think so. Yeah, Fnatic hits him for one. And Lightning Strike gets him down to one. Castle doesn't do anything. Yeah, I think we're done. Then we just have one blocker. Ah, oh, so close. We were very close. I think I played that r incorrectly in a few spots. Um, huh, okay. Now, how was Ratchet Bomb read? Non-land permanent converted mana cost equal. Do they remain lands is the question. Can I read that? How do I? Ugh. <laughs> what does her ability do? Do they stay lands? Nissa who shakes the world. Let's see. Nissa who shakes the world. Okay. What does she say? Uh, put three plus one, one target non-creature land you control. It becomes elemental creature with vigilance and haste. That's still a land. Okay. So Rajabom is not good. Well, do we have anything that is good? Grafter's Cage does nothing. Rampaging Ferocidon uh, probably doesn't do anything. Searing Blood hits their mana dorks. Smash the Smithereens. Huh. Fry does actual nothing. Hmm. Um... Yeah, I don't know that Searing Blood is worth it. I'd rather hit their Planeswalkers too. Rampaging Frost. Now, what could they have for life gain? Mono green. Um, I mean, like, scavenging you? I don't know. I don't know that that's worth it either. I think we just keep it as is. Yeah, we. I got no sideboard cards for this this matchup. It's an interesting one. I think we just have to race it, honestly, before they get out of hand. Uh, yes, we'll play first. And, I mean, this is decent, I guess. Let's see what they do. They mulligan down to six. All right, so they kept six. They start the game with a ley line. Blah. All right, here we go. Legion Loyalist, do your thing. Once upon a time. So what is this, just double up mana? Whenever you tap a creature for mana, add an additional green. Okay. And the plus one, plus one counter synergy. Pretty cool, pretty cool. I'm liking this deck. All right, well, let's uh, bolt the bird, as they say. Slash the elf. And uh, get in there. I did start the last game with that major punt of not bolting the bird, slashing the elf properly. Ash Zealot. Okay. Um, yeah. Let's get Zealous. Down to 15. Burning tree. They have a burning tree of their own. Ooh, double burning tree. Pretty good. Triple? <laughs> Shit. What do they got? 
Walking ballista, yikes. Hmm. Okay. Um... If I lightning strike the ballista, they just kill off all my creatures. Which they can do anyway. I feel like I gotta keep them off devotion too. I could fanatic of Mogus right now, but they just use the ballista in response. Hmm. I think we let's keep him off of devotion and then we don't attack because they'll just get eaten alive so we pass Hmm. <laughs> I don't even know what I want to see here, really. Are they going to get in there? No attacks. Okay. Okay, okay. Um. Hmm. Burning tree into fanatic. Force them to pop their ballista. Let's see, they can add counters, right? Cost four to put a counter on it. Yeah. So they add counters. Ugh. I guess let's force their hand. I have nothing else to do really. So one, two, three, four. Yep, so they add a counter and they pick off almost everything. Okay. Yep. Now what do they go for? The Legion Loyalists, they keep it alive. Okay. So we get them for three damage. Eh, that's something. Elvish Mystic. Ooh, Nylea's Disciple, what are you? 3-3, three, three, you gain life equal to your devotion. Okay, that's pretty good against me. Yep. Back up to 19. <laughs> Things are not looking good here. And we get a mountain. Okay, sure. Welp, I suppose we can attack in. Do we want to attack in? Ugh. They have no cards in hand. Oh boy. All right, so they're both my creatures are only two toughness, so they die to hmm. Like, Nylea's Disciple blocks the Burning Tree safely, and then, uh, like, their Burning Tree blocks my Fanatic. It takes them off of a lot of devotion that way. They have zero cards in hand. 
Um, oh boy. I feel like things are only going to get worse if I just keep sitting here. Yep, as expected. Uh, and then I guess we'll play this. One, two, three, four. Sacrifice a desert. Yes. <laughs> cool, big things happening over here. So I took them off at two points of devotion. Probably doesn't matter at this point. They have so much mana anyway. So much mana. And now I have nothing. Ballista gets huge. Ballista gets huge. Uh-huh. Swinging in. Okay. All right, he's a thing. Not enough of a thing. I think we're things are looking grim here. I just have all the mana in the world. Ballista coming in. Yep, <laughs> Ballista gets huge. Yep, Ballista gets huge. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yup. Yup. Okay. Boros Reckoner. Sure. Pass the turn back. I mean, we're both top decking at this point, but they have a much better board state and a million mana. So much mana. Like, they can make Walking Ballista actually massive now. Just so scary. <laughs> End step, sure. A mountain, nice. Nice. All right. Let's, uh... I don't even... I don't even know. Pass. You got nothing going on. <laughs> so much mana. Let's just always yield to these. Oh, they're using that. Forgot about that little guy. Um, do I block this? God, I don't know. I guess so. What do we want to kill? This thing? Yeah? I don't know. Sure. Can they make it big enough to get out of range? Oh, they just wanted to use their 
Nykthos while I still had the devotion. Oath of Nyssa. Oh boy, this is uh, going pretty poorly. I don't see us coming back from this. Yep. Gotcha. Take that. An Ash Zealot. <laughs> um, that's... Ugh, oh, God. Okay. Sure. Pass the turn. Yep. <laughs> the list is massive. This who shakes the world. All right, I think we're done here. I'll play it out, I guess. Uh huh. <laughs> Nykthos. Yeah, we're just, I mean, we're just dead here, actually. Yep. Okay. Yep. Then they hit us for five, eight, eleven. Yeah, that's enough. They got us. Whew. Okay. Um, huh. Well, that was a tough matchup. Uh, yeah, the cool deck, very cool deck. Like mono green devotion with a counter sub theme. Pretty cool. I'm into it. Nice uh, cool little brew. Um let's uh Yeah, I mean, we can talk about the deck a little. I mean, it felt it felt fairly powerful. Um might not be the most powerful version of of mono red, like some sort of prowess deck. Seems like it could do well. Uh, maybe just straight burn, although I think it loses a lot uh, with no bolt, no lava spike, none of that stuff. Um, but prowess is probably just better. Uh, but either way, uh, it did pretty well. We went three and two, uh, which is, I mean, that's great. It's a winning record. Um, it was fun. Just turn stuff sideways, and it has some cool synergies, and it's can, you know it can be pretty powerful. Um, yeah, good and bad matchups, but that's that's really all I got to say. It was a fun one. Thank you guys for watching. Um, probably going to do a bunch more Pioneer content because I'm enjoying seeing all these cool new decks and, and brewing around in the new format. So um, I will talk to you guys soon. Thank you so much.